Authorities are investigating a horrific alligator attack. A 69-year-old woman was killed by a gator while walking her dog near a lagoon. The number of alligator attacks is on the rise in parts of the country. Here's ABC's Victor Akendo. Tonight, an early morning dog walk turning deadly in South Carolina when an alligator attacked. You're responding to a report of an elderly female in the lagoon. She is possibly deceased. Authorities on Hilton Head Island say they found the body of a 69-year-old woman at the edge of a lagoon guarded by that gator getting in the way of rescue efforts. It's kind of shocking, honestly. I think the alligators sometimes get too comfortable with the people and, and vice versa. Just weeks ago, this gator charging at a fisherman there. <laughs> and last year, another fatal gator attack in a nearby retirement community. Authorities say an 88-year-old woman was killed while gardening at a lagoon near her home. The alligator was basically um, holding holding her hostage. And here in Florida, 13-year-old Gabriel Klimis fighting off a gator that bit his hip last month after a swim. That gator captured two days later. I'm very thankful because like, I could have not been here right now. And authorities are warning pet owners not to walk them near bodies of water prone to alligators. And experts say that in this part of South Carolina, the alligator population isn't growing, but more people are building on and moving closer to their habitats. Lindsay? Victor, thank you. Authorities are investing. All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praise. I name Glory Dilti Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim Rakakwadash. I'd like to give the honor so that the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone will learn this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. And today I just want to go into that, you know, news article. It's going to be a quick lesson, you know, because animal attacks are, you know, becoming more and more common, you know. And it's also going to get, you know, even worse in the near future, you know. So. I'm just going to bring out a few scriptures, Lord willing, this lesson is how to find the straight to the point. I'm going to start in Jeremiah chapter 15. And as the headline reads, judgment must come. And yes, you know, judgment must come. This is Jeremiah 15 and 1, and it says, Then saith the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind cannot be towards this people, cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And yes, you know, let's talk about the nation of Israel, the two thirds in particular, you know, verse two, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, whither shall we go? Then thou shalt tell them, thus saith the Lord, such as for death to death, such as are for the sword to the sword such as are for death to death, and such are for the sword to the sword, and such are for the famine to the famine, and such are for the captivity to the captivity. This point, verse three, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven, and the beast of the earth to devour, and destroy, and yes, you know, this particular incident, you know, is pretty much what the Lord is doing. He poured out his judgment, you know, he put the spirit on, you know, the alligator to attack that woman. Now, a similar incident happened, you know, earlier this year, months ago, where an elderly woman in Florida was walking her dog, you know, near a pond. Oh, she didn't see the alligator, I'm not sure, but Originally, in the video, the alligator was trying to get the dog, but it ended up attacking a woman, you know, and ultimately killing her, you know. But again, this is, you know, the Lord for not us wrath, you know. So when it was the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, or verse 28, and it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their, slaki, which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Fire and hail and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment 
and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. And yes, you know, point being in verse 30, teeth of wild beasts, because again, you know, just like they said, alligator attacks are becoming, you know, more and more common. You know, it's happening more and more, you know. And that's the Lord, like I said, you know, pouring out his force, you know, putting that spirit on these animals, you know, to pretty much inflict judgment, you know, upon these people, you know, because again, just like you said, you know, these animals are pretty much waiting, you know, for the Lord to give them that commandment to go out and pretty much, you know, attack these people, especially during the time of Jacob's trouble, you know. Once these zoo animals get out, you know, pretty much all hell is going to break loose. But, you know, even then, animals are pretty much changing from their place. Let me see. What can I remember? Is the book of Second Andrews, chapter five and verse eight, and it says, "There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be oft sent out." This is the point, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and menstruous women shall bring forth monsters and yes you know again that's pretty much the point i wanted to bring out in this verse you know only focus on on that you know because again you know these wild animals you know they pretty much are already you know changing their places you know which would be in the wild but you know you saw even with this deforestation cutting down you know a lot of the trees you know and you know also the animals coming into the cities to find food as well you know so again animal attacks are going to become more and more common and then also don't want to forget about this as well you know you know the newly created creatures this is the book of wisdom of solomon chapter 11 and verse 17 and it says for the almighty it's like it for thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form one it not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts full of rage newly created breathing out of their it's like you're breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparks out of their eyes whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them. And yes, you know, the Lord also has newly created creatures, you know, that are hiding in the woods, you know. Um, you know, just speaking as a man, you know, I personally believe that, you know, Bigfoot is real. You know, I could be wrong. But if it is, again, this is pretty much, you know, one you know, the things that are describing because again, you know, people think, you know, just like the elder down in uh, Birmingham always mentions, you know, people think, you know, the most exotic animals are, you know, in different parts of the world. When in reality, you know, they're here in America, you know, and they're hiding out in the woods and in caves, you know, pretty much waiting for the Lord, you know, to give them that signal to, you know, do as well. So, that's pretty much it, you know, I just wanted to bring it out real quick. So Lord willing, that's less than most edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Tiahua, 
Bashum Yahushai, Bashum Akakadash, that to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of great millstone. Or that is true from, and I like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully elect. Till next time I'll see you, Shalom.